first of all, it's it's very fitting that we're doing this here at the Botanical Garden when in 1982, right here, Indira Gandhi became an honorable uh, doctor of Karasha Shilpa University. Amazing. And Mahatma Gandhi, you said today in your speech, uh, was all for non-violent struggle, but you said that that did not mean a passive approach. How does that apply to the situation in Ukraine that is in a very much hot conflict with Russia? Nonviolence, as I said, is something that requires courage, is something that requires determination, is something that requires a belief, and more importantly, an understanding of humanity. And this Mahatma Gandhi displayed in his uh, long struggle to give India her independence. And it didn't end there, because after India became independent, a wave of decolonization started all over the world, which resulted in many countries in Asia and Africa becoming free. So nonviolence as a creed, as a concept, needs a lot of courage. And this I see in Ukraine. In Ukraine, it's um, a beautiful country. And the strength of Ukraine lies in its democracy, where the will of the people determines what uh, the government does and what, uh, how the country progresses. And the will of the people is always a collective wisdom. And into this wisdom, if we can ensure that the concept of nonviolence, of understanding, and of uh, loving uh, not only yourself, but your neighbor, will go a long way in ensuring long-lasting peace. I'm very hopeful and I'm very sure. Thank you, Mr. Ambassador.